Let's read the book together. That Cat Can't Stay, written by Thad Karansky and illustrated by David Parkins. When Mom brought home a stray one day, Dad said that creature cannot stay. There's no use begging. Don't say please. I don't like cats. They scratch my knees. And I don't want to have to shout. So kindly, put that cat thing out. Mom said, I'll put him back outside. I'm sure he'll find some place to hide. Away from all the rain and hail, which just might drench him nose to tail. I see you do not want this pet, though he might get completely wet. Your mind's made up, dear, I can tell. I'll put him out. But Dad said, well, mm, the rain is coming down so hard. There's not a dry spot in the yard. I guess the cat can stay in here until the rainstorm starts to clear. But no one pet him, do not play. My mind's made up. That cat can't stay. The day Mom found a calico, Dad said, that thing has got to go. One cat was more than I could take. Two cats would be a big mistake. There's no use begging. Don't say please. I don't like cats. They scratch my knees. They carry fleas. They make me sneeze. They're always getting stuck in trees. I want it gone. Vamoose away. I'm telling you, that cat can't stay. All right, said Mom. She's beautiful, but you're quite right. Our house is full. I'll put her back out on the street. She'll have to scrounge for things to eat. But she'll survive. Yes, I can tell. I'll put her out. But Dad said, well, we'll feed her for a day or two. But after that, I'm warning you, when she's gained a little weight, she's out of here. There's no debate. We cannot keep another stray. You mark my words. That cat can't stay. When we were in a parking lot, Mom called, Hey kids, look what I've got. Dad said, Don't show me what you found. We don't need one more cat around. There's no use begging. Don't say please. I don't like cats. They scratch my knees. They carry fleas. They make me sneeze. They're always getting stuck in trees. They eat my cheese. Their hairball wheeze. Their licking makes my stomach queeze. Three cats. We do not have the space. She'll have to find another place. You're right again, Mom said to Dad. And I won't cry or get too sad. Just thinking of this little cat and a how a car might squish her flat. Abandoned in this parking lot, slim chance to none is all she's got. Poor cat, just go. You heard the boss. But look both ways before you cross. It won't help to meow or yell. Just watch for traffic. Dad said, well, perhaps we'll drive her out a bit to some place where she won't get hit. We'll even show her picture round and put up posters saying found. Now kids, sit down and stop the yaying. This cat's not, you hear, not staying. One night, my mom rushed in the door from doing errands at the store. This ginger kitty has been hit, so I got out and rescued it. Dad said, ah, uh, rescue it, my dear. We have no room for four cats here. There's no use begging. Don't say please. I don't like cats. They scratch my knees. They make me sneeze. They carry fleas. They're 
always getting stuck in trees. They eat my cheese. They hairball wheeze. Their licking makes my stomach wheeze. I'm sure that everyone agrees we can't have any more of these. Mom softly said, I'm sure you're right. I'll send him back into the night. His leg is broken. He can't walk. He's easy pickings for a hawk. Poor thing, it will be over soon. I doubt he'll make it through till noon. So best of luck there, little fella. Go outside now. Dad said, well, uh, if this leg, if his leg is truly broken, maybe I've too harshly spoken. Take him to the vet tonight to see if she can set it right. But when he's well, without delay, that cat moves out. That cat can't stay. When I was coming home from school, I broke the no more kitties rule. I hid the tabby in my hood because I knew my father would not let me bring her in the house, though she was tiny as a mouse. I just knew what my dad would say. Another cat. That cat can't stay. There's no use begging. Don't say please. I don't like cats. They scratch my knees. They carry fleas. They make me sneeze. They're always getting stuck in trees. They eat my cheese. Their hairball wheeze. Their licking makes my stomach queeze. I'm sure that everyone agrees. We can't have any more of these. So I kissed dad and I said, please, could you just give her one small squeeze? That week dad said, look what I found, all sad and lonely at the pound. And we were happy to discover Dad is a doggy lover. The end.